Okay, so I got the uh, tire stickers put on now. Now I'm taking time to balance the tires. I might run some ride on tire sealant in these things eventually. But uh, for right now, I'm just gonna I'll static balance these things. That's a balancer that I made myself at work. So the idea behind this thing is I got a couple of bearings in here and the shafts can ride in between the bearings. I'll uh, try to get the least amount of resistance as possible. See how this is going backwards a little bit. So it's telling me it's just a tick heavy on the box once it comes to stop. It's really not that far off. Uh, I don't know if you'll be able to feel it uh, being that far off. My valve stem is the lightest side of the tire right now. The weights that I put on here are down here at the bottom. And I put quite a bit on there. I put uh, 14, 21, 42 grams. So that's three quarters of an ounce. I guess that's not really that much. So the tire's not, so three quarters of an ounce isn't, it's not that far out of balance by any means. So I shouldn't even be able to feel any shimmy or shaking by any means. I got tapered cones in here. Let me just actually just pull this up. So this is a tapered cone that rides and uh, centers itself in the bearing. And then I got a couple of clips to help hold it together. Same thing on this side over here. Uh, just a tapered cone that, uh, and these clips hold it together. So the whole wheel riding on these centers between, or riding between those centers. When I stopped it, I'm stopping it by hand now, but this was, this is how the tire was positioned. Uh, this was the lightest part of the tire. I actually just took some uh, lead weights that didn't have double-sided tape on the back, and I just masking taped them up here. It's just kind of an estimate before I started putting lead weights on here. I don't like the looks of the lead weights, but not a whole lot I can do about it. Like I said, I heard the ride on tire sealant makes a difference. Let me let's go over here and grab some. So I heard this stuff makes a difference. It says tire balancer and sealant. I don't know how good it works as a balancer. Uh, I've ran it before in our tires on our bikes, and it probably saved my wife's life before because uh, she had a blowout. Uh, as we went, uh, were riding out to Colorado, she had, a, she had a blowout on her bike going across Nebraska, and uh, uh, this this stuff probably saved her probably saved her life because uh, there was uh, several like three holes in her tire, and she was able to get the bike stopped and pulled off the side of the interstate. And we're cruising, we're cruising 80 mile an hour going across going across Nebraska on on, on Interstate 80. Um, I should run this stuff. I don't have a very good compressor. Right now I've had an old compressor. Me and my wife were talking about this today. The compressor I got, I think it's probably, it's probably 15 years old, just a little eight gallon compressor, but the thing is leaking pretty bad. The tank is leaking, so I get a lot of water moisture built up in it uh, just because of the atmospheric conditions we're in down here in Tennessee. I don't want to put any air out of this compressor in here just because it's so wet. Uh, I'd rather keep it dry, get some dry air. And when I get a new compressor, I'll have a dryer on it too. Uh, so I have dry air or a water trap of some sort. Either which way, this is what it's going to be for right now. Uh, I've got one of the front tires already done. I'll go ahead and balance the rear tire and then uh, start assembling these things, put these on the bike. Be able to actually get it to not hang from the ceiling for once. This would be good. So I can take this all down and, and not hang the bike from the ceiling. And got my new brake pads in there. There's the old old rotor. The old the rotor's holding the brake pads apart, so I can get my new tire my tire got the front tire um, all done. Got the brakes put on. New brake pads, new rotors, got the tire stickers put on, got it balanced too as well. I'm just glad to be able to get this done because now the bike is a lot more sturdy on top of here. And now I can start I like to start taking these straps down and, and my supports down from the from the ceiling. A little bit easier to work around. Now I'm working on balancing the rear tire. So from here, it's just a matter of final assembly, getting my rear tire finally balanced. Get that put on, uh, get the body put back on, fender, the front fender, the fairing, uh, body work, that kind of stuff, the seat, that kind of thing. Get it started up, you know, that kind of stuff. And then get this thing out of here and then bring a uh, my 96 GSX c back over here and uh, start working on it uh, for winter maintenance. Anyway, in the meantime, that's all I got for now. Please like the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and until next time, we'll see you later.